Several employees at Metro Detroit grocery stores have died from the coronavirus. Kroger says four employees who worked at its Northville, Troy, Gross Point, and Livonia stores have died. Meyer says four of its employees died as well, but provided no additional details. Both grocery chains have provided grief counselors for its employees. Mayor Mike Duggan said although state coronavirus cases are going down, the progress is still slow. We have to stay with this so diligently until we completely break the back of this virus. Duggan added the number of deaths in the state has gradually gone down over the past couple of days. He continued to urge residents to follow the governor's stay-at-home efforts. With COVID-19 still on the rise in Michigan, the virus seems to be more prevalent in certain communities. Governor Whitmer is taking action to address racial disparities when it comes to the virus. CW50's April Morton has more. As the coronavirus continues to grow in Michigan, one community has been devastated by the virus. So black people make up 14% of the population of the state of Michigan, but thus far we have made up 40% of the people who have died of COVID-19. This disturbing trend of high death rates due to COVID-19 in black communities throughout the state gained the attention of Governor Whitmer. In order to address this serious issue, the governor created the Michigan Coronavirus Task Force on Racial Disparities, led by Lieutenant Governor Garland Gilchrist. To bring together a set of medical and public health experts, as well as stakeholders in the community, to think about how we can directly and specifically work to decrease this mortality rate um, amongst black people and people of color. Gilchrist says there are several contributing factors that puts black and minority communities at a higher mortality rate, one being pre-existing conditions that has plagued black communities for generations, like diabetes and high blood pressure, also lack of proper health care and environmental factors. Gilchrist says he has experienced these disparities firsthand. I've lost 15 people in my life to COVID-19, mm -hmm. and I have uh, other friends and family members who have tested positive or who are in the hospital. And so like, this is real for people. And uh, we need to act. We need to act uh, as quickly as we responsibly can so that we can make a difference. Gilchrist says every day matters in this pandemic, and he wants to put intervention on the ground quickly. The task force will meet twice a week starting tomorrow. In Detroit, April Morton, CW50 News at 10. Governor Gretchen Whitmer facing heavy backlash over her COVID-19 response, and now many want to see her out of office. A new change.org petition has already gathered more than 175,000 signatures calling on her recall. The petition blames her for the coronavirus outbreak in Michigan and business closures. It also criticizes the slow fixing of state roads. A nurse who works in the intensive care unit at the Henry Ford Hospital is sharing her experience both on the front lines against COVID-19 and her personal battle with the virus. It's very different. It feels very surreal kind of that you were at home and I mean I was not doing bad. I have a lot of survivor skills like a lot of like why wasn't I the nurse that was taken and mm -hmm. Why, like, are these people still, you know, fighting for their lives? And Henry Ford Hospital has reportedly had others on staff contract COVID-19. Engelhardt says she is back at work now helping to treat those with the virus. Beaumont Health is launching a major study to test the blood of COVID-19 survivors. A collection of nearly 40,000 blood samples will study the antibodies of those who reported no symptoms. Researchers say this will help determine how the coronavirus spreads. The blood samples could also potentially help current coronavirus patients recover.